All right, so today I have Ms. Joni Lockhart, and she's the owner of Shop Talk Radio 2020. Um, before we start this interview, I would like to tell Ms. Joni, thank you so much for giving me the chance to have you on my show. I would also like to tell Ms. KK Diamond, thank you so much for allowing me to uh, reach out to your mama for an interview. Um, but with that being said, Ms. KK Diamond, she's showing me so much support on my page and she's helping me out so much. It's only right that I do this. And Ms. Diamond has been a, a, a valuable asset to me and my to me and my my channel um she's supporting my business a lot and it, it, i really appreciate all the love that she's given me um with that being said i would like to also give a shout out to miss remy davis um from new york but currently in georgia as well um miss davis is the one who introduced me to miss kk diamond and miss davis has been showing me nothing but love too i mean every time i post miss davis be on it um now, my last shout out I would like to make is to Miss Aisha on with Savage Shots Clothing and Savage Shots XO. Um, with Miss Aisha, she is my first, she is my third donator. She is my third sponsor on, on this show, but she is also my first donator for a hoodie. She donated this hoodie for me. It's called Boss, and I really do appreciate it, Miss Aisha, and it has Savage 2021 on the side. So, yeah, Miss Miss Aisha, I want to tell you thank you so much. Y'all, this lady, Miss Aisha, she showed me so much love, too. And we get, we was born, we got the same Zodiac sign, so that's a plus. But, yeah, um, Miss Savage, I want to tell you thank you again. Um, Now, to the interview. Before we start, I would like to tell Ms. Joni Lockhart, thank you so much for coming on my show, and can you please introduce yourself? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Uh, my name is Joni, and um, I'm a hairstylist here in the Charlotte area, um, but I'm originally from Miami, Florida, and um, I've been doing hair for 20 years. I love what I do. Um, if you want to check me out, you can go over to my Facebook page called hairstyles by joni and that's j-o-n-i and i am also a radio show host with uh wdrb media and i'm gonna give them a um a shout out and uh, to let them know i appreciate them for giving me the platform to be able to do what i'm doing and you can find me on instagram shop talk radio uh styles i mean shop talk radio 2020 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And Miss Joni is also a upcoming YouTuber. Can you please say your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is also Shop Talk Radio 2020. And also, guys, I'm going to throw it in that I'm a mom, grandma, and also a wifey. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's a mother. She's a grandmother. She's a wifey. She do her. And she has her own talk show, her own radio yeah. show. And oh, it's, right it's audio in this video. Just yeah, whatever you want, she got it for you. Well. Yep. And studio. Mm -hmm. And she has her own studio looking professional mm -hmm. with the, the whole yeah. setup with the microphones in the background with her brand in the back. And it looks very nice. Um, That's why Thank it's you. such an honor to have you on here. I, I did not think you was going to accept this offer, but I'm glad you did. Really? For real. You, when I look on your page, you big time. <laughs> well, well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. I yes, ma'am. Of course, I was going to accept that. Yeah. Yes, I mean, ma'am. I'm stepping outside my comfort zone, actually doing it. So, you know, it's helping me, actually, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, Miss Joni, is your is this your first interview? This is actually my first ever interview. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. You starting off the year right, Miss Joni. I uh, still in the January early with it. You starting right. off with the interview. That's how you do you. it. Um. Okay. So my first question for you is: You said you've been. Did you say you've been doing hair for fifteen, twenty years? I've been doing uh, hair twenty plus years. Twenty plus years. Twenty what? plus years. Yep. I'm a master stylist. I know what I'm doing. I love what I do. I, I want to get in, in that head, too, over there, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. And this head, all you can do is wash it. I don't even get my hair twisted you no more. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I got wicks now. They all combined it. This, I uh, see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can wash it, though, for sure. That's just a, that, yeah, I can for wash sure. it. Give a good wash. Sure. I give a good wash. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, and you also said you're from, it, what's the area? Is it 305? Miami, 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, is that where you started doing hair at in Miami? That's where I started doing hair at. Um, I actually uh, got into doing hair because I used to work for Pan Am Airways. So I, I was a reservation agent. And then Pan Am went out of business. So then I was like, what am I going to do? At that time I had, it was only one child, me and Champy, which is KK Diamond. And um, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So um, God told me to go and do hair. You got you to gotta give. So that's exactly what I did. Yes, ma'am. I think that's great. I think that's great. <laughs> that, that's cool. Um, My next question for you is, whenever you started out doing hair, did you have any help or did you have to learn everything on your own? Oh, it came natural. I was already braiding. I was already doing family hair. I was over. I was always doing hair. That was my like my passion. So I played with doll babies all the time, doing hair, hair, hair. So it was a natural thing for me. So it was a gift. That was that gift I just mentioned. Yes, so, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, what advice do you have for the upcoming, for the aspiring hair? Uh, cosmetologist what is all right i'm gonna ask you a different question i'm gonna ask you okay. a different way what are some things that you learned later on in your 20 plus years doing hair that you wish people would have told you when you first started out mm. uh, that i will actually be learning the uh, skill of of doing a service but not the actual steps of the service you know what I'm saying? Like it's more to just roller sets. You have to have a style of the roller set or the product you're going to know that's going to work with the roller set or doing a relaxer, you know, um, customer service. You have to deal with people, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, so it's more deeper than just getting that license. You have to actually apply that license to your, what you're going to put out. Yes, ma'am. that makes sense. Absolutely. Uh, in my in my opinion, I feel you're saying don't think you're just going to jump right into it and act like you just the bomb diggity. It's, you got to learn first. It's a process to it. Exactly. But now you exactly. say you're a master hairstylist, so now you, you could probably teach it, you know? Right, right, right. That's the plan. When I retire, I'll go to somebody's school and, and sit behind a desk or teach you know run the school maybe possibly yeah that's real good they didn't make you the dean at the school Dang, for sure. for the sure. dean, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um my next question for you is okay you've been doing hair for over 20 years like yeah are your hand your hands do your hands ever get tired or you, yes okay that's that 20 plus years i've been doing hair um that's why I don't braid as much, but I do braid. You know what I'm saying? So I keep I spread it out because sometimes I could be braiding and the hands get, you know. Yeah, so to answer your question, yes, they do. Now they are, but I don't have no arthritis or nothing like that. But, yeah, they do cramp up. I got to be like, <laughs> I got to hold my hand down and be like shaking it. They don't see me, but I'd be like, damn, come on now. But I keep going, though, you know. Like anybody who have a job that they do, you know, they, they shake it off and got to keep going, you know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question for you is, what are some things that you do besides just put your hand down and shake it behind their back? Or what are some things you prepare for whenever you know you have to do braids or a long hairstyle <clears throat> to take care of your hands? Or is there no preparing? Yeah, it's no preparing. It's just when it comes, it, it comes, <laughs> and I, just, I keep going. Sometimes it be, you know, kind of feeling crazy. I still kind of keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, you learn to work with the pain you know you learn to work with the feeling you know what i'm saying until you can't take it no more then you just shake shake it off keep going now, ain't nobody gonna know that you know <laughs> yes ma'am you know? so, yes ma'am that's what i do it's not bad yet you know it's not to that point absolutely um I, I, man, I respect any woman who can do, anybody who can do hair, because that's patience. I can't do it. You got to be patient. You got to, <sighs> yo, you got to accept that your hand's going to hurt. I cannot. No, ma'am. That's, I salute y'all. Well, y'all, my respect, it. for sure. I take it all. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a job. I'm telling you, um, along with the customer service, I'm a, I'm a psychologist in a sense. 
people talk to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? I hear their stories. Sometimes I don't want to hear the story, you know, you know, and I tell them my story sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yes, man, I'm doing hair. You said psychologist. That's a therapist, too. Is that the same therapist. thing? Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. Therapist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I can talk about anything. Whatever y'all want to talk about, we can, yeah. Yes, man, you a psychologist, a therapist, a counselor, a life coach, a motivational <laughs> yeah, speaker, all, everything. I know. All that. I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. I think now it's like coming for, to the forefront, you know. It's always been in me, but now new things are emerging, you know. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What have been three of your most favorite memories doing here so far? Um, learning my, my, my three. Repeat that again. What have been your three most favorite memories that you have had? Okay. If that don't make sense, Absolutely. I apologize. It does. Actually, the first one is finishing cosmetology school. A great, great memory from the um, two children then when I started going to school, going to hair school. So great, great experience. Um, Also, all the hair shows that I did and traveling, you know, doing hair. I also traveled to Key West back and forth. My brother set that up. I have a twin brother, and he set that up where I go do the uh, Navy girls hair on base. So he set that up for me, my twin brother. So I travel. I was a traveling hairstylist, so I did that. And um, the, I'd already said uh, hair shows. Uh, yeah, so okay. that's it. That's yeah, cool. That's it. And I did hair shows as well. And you said Key West. Is that all right? So I, I'm not from Florida. I ain't never been. But at the very bottom of Florida, is there like this bridge that take you to Key West? I hate the bridge. <sighs> That bridge so long, it's it's so long. A bunch of you just in the water so close to the bridge. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 horrifying. Mm. Mm-hmm. But my mom traveled there all the time. I grew up going back and forth to Key West too, so I got a chance to learn kind of feel that bridge a lot. Mm. No, ma'am. I see it on TV. Say no, ma'am. Because I know we have bridges here. They not nowhere near as long. But on our bridges, they right on top of the water. And it it, it, it be windy. Real windy. He didn't say it be windy, right? It push your car. Yeah, so the wind could. For real. Why you say it could be windy? Like it could push the car? Yeah, it be, the car be moving on the, on the oh, road. No. Yeah, I don't like no I don't like no long bridges. I don't want to go to Key West. I like looking at it on TV. Right, cool. right. You say you had to go all the time to go on the Navy base. No, ma'am. No man. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool though. That's cool, man. I I love looking at it. It look nice. Yeah. It look nice yeah, out there. Yeah, is a nice place. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I didn't know that bridge is that long though. I just thought it was. Oh my goodness, it's real long. I'm, I think it's forty five minutes or something like that. It's long. That's that's too long to be riding on the bridge. No, no. I think it's more than thirty minutes, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> It's mm-hmm. not no 15 minutes. It, it's a long, long ride. I've never in my life. No, ma'am. And some people <laughs> ride buses across it. Like, you know, the charter bus? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I know mm-hmm. some people, they 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 might live in, in Florida, but work in Key West or other way around. Exactly. Every day? Every day. All that gas. Yeah, that's what I was doing when I went to go do hair down there. What? You, that's, that's a quarter of a tank. I mean, you know, I looked at it as traveling, and I'm just traveling That's the world, cool. so it wasn't nothing for me. But I wouldn't do it today. I'm, I'm scared to get on the plane. I used to travel all over. It's, you see, so it flipped, you know? <laughs> I understand. I understand. Um. All right, so, Miss Joni, my next question for you is, how long have you been on the radio? Um, one year. And maybe two months. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, one year and maybe two months. And um, I had two chances at it. The the first chance, it came just out of nowhere. Someone referred me. So that's how it came. And I tried it out. And um, it didn't work out because I just had moved to Charlotte. So I was, you know what I'm saying, just moving into place and trying to learn where I'm going and 
needed to get a job and money wasn't right. So that one didn't, I didn't, you know, jump on it. But then it came around the, the following year and I did it. So, yeah. Yes, Second ma'am. chance. Second chances are never give up a second chance. Never feel like you can't uh, try again. So. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Um, my next question for you is, what made you want to get into the radio business? Um, actually, radio always been something that was uh, around me. Um, I had a cousin that did radio for WD, uh, WEDR, WEDR, I think, in Miami. And she did radio for a long time, so I kind of got a feel of what she was doing. And then also, I used to promote a little bit kind of sense in a sense i had a little rapper guy that was trying you know an artist and i used to take him around with me um in, i'm talking in miami mm-hmm. and I used to take him around to the different park events and stuff like that so i love the studio always used to be in the studio with my cousin and stuff when he making his music man's a lost man shout out to him and it, it just been in me you know so that's how I think I'm, I'm, I'm here. That's cool. That's cool. Um, what type of topics or content do you does your radio show offer, or what? Yeah, do y'all do? Um, I'm bring I bring um information, inspiration, um, artists. I feature artists, uh, pe- business business people, entrepreneurs. Um, I have a relationship. A relationship show kind of in the sense that I'm that I'm playing with and um, talk about different top- topics on relationships in the community the black community um, just different stuff like that also a little bit comedy I try to be funny I, I'm naturally funny but you know I try to show it in a kind of weird way in a sense so yeah that's what that's what I'm bringing right now yes ma'am yes ma'am um I think that's great um, what have okay? What are some things that you found out later on in the radio business that you wish people would have told you when you first started out? That I would have to learn and do most of what I'm doing by myself. For real, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had to do this all on my own because when it got really to where I was getting the the um, business and the prospects coming um corona hit so that mean i couldn't go in the studio to have that backup to help me you know somebody guide me tell me what to do not me learn to do it all on my own so i had to i had went and bought a computer so the this screen right here 1200 i had to go and invest i had to go and invest in myself because i couldn't go to the studio because corona messed that up so I can start doing some shows. What I'm going to do, you know, so, yeah. So if somebody would have told me it was going to be that hard for me, which it didn't look like it was hard for any everybody else, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's because I'm a one-woman show. Like, I don't have, like, a, a co-host or somebody beside me to, to kind of take off the load of what I got to do. So, yeah. Other than that, everything is copacetic. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> um, my next question for you is what have been three of your most favorite wait have you had your daughter on the show yet no I haven't you beat me to it oh I was, that's why I was like I was so sorry I was no that's so okay <laughs> I didn't mean to make you feel like that but look how I said it yes you beat me to it no but that's all good cause now I'm gonna have both of y'all so I win I'm going to have both of y'all. You see what I'm saying? I gained again. So, no problem. See how easy I am? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> That's how you do it. Right. Um, My next question for you is, okay, who have been some of your guests that you had on your show that stood out the most? Um, Let's see. I know this is a yeah. question that you never get asked. I never got asked this before. I know, Khalik, Khalik. I like him. He's an artist, a young artist, and um, I just automatically told him I'm your, I'm your number one fan. He just had a thing about him that I, that grabbed me. 
But I'm going to say most of all of them, because it's all new to me, stand out to me. So I can't just choose one. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. When you asked me that, I was going through all of them like, oh, my God, which one should I say? I, all, all of them stood out because I feel like I'm standing out. So. Yes, ma'am. How <laughs> how is it getting to just interview different people all the time? Like, do you, do you like it because it's so diverse? I like it because I can do it. I deal with people every day. So I'm, I'm a people's person, so that's not the problem. The problem is me coming out of my coming, I don't know, coming into this new thing that I'm doing to make it diverse, meaning I got to be open to receive the diversity that's going to come at me that i have to uh put out there you know what i'm saying so this is you know it's opening me up in a different way yes ma'am well miss joni i'm gonna say the best advice i can say is take it one day at a time one day at a time and it's okay during the middle of the interview to mess up that's fine don't don't it's just it's not okay to mess up and stop just keep on going right, if you keep on, on going it's gonna be all right Miss Johnny. That's, yeah. that's real yeah, good that's, that's true gotta keep flowing with it that's what i've learned from if you go back guys if you guys check me out go look at my stuff if you go all the way down to the bottom to the top you'll see a difference right after maybe Four interviews. I improved that quickly because I'm a fast learner. That's yeah. what's up. So, so you know, the only thing I probably do is get nervous, you know, a little bit, like in my stomach and stuff, like how I feel right now. How you got me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question for you is: Whenever you, okay, whenever you, before you start your interview on the on the behind the scenes side do you, how do you prepare for it or you just jump into it no it's it's a ritual it's a ritual. right I, I got my coffee or i may have my drink um let's see what else um i clean up my little area you know what i'm saying it's like it's a ritual i get myself ready because i'm stylish you know what i'm saying i like to be look good and fly <laughs> okay so yeah i do i do i set i set up before i get in there because um, I get nervous. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I understand completely. I understand. <laughs> I got a whole ritual, too. Um, My next question for you is, <clears throat> all right, so whenever you, what are your future plans with Shop Talk Radio 2020? My future plans is to see me maybe, um, having a um a non-profit business that helps young people or some kind of uh connection where i can get things done you know what i'm saying like if something come to me i can move to it this way and just keep it going you know maybe see myself actually on the radio or tv somewhere maybe you know interviewing people absolutely absolutely i think that's great um, my next question for you, Miss Joni, is what's your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm Scorpio, all the way, number one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, what do they say about Scorpios? Oh boy, they were mean. Um, high sex drive, sex, sex, sexy. Um, intelligent. Yes, ma'am. I, 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 you know, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question. Why they say y'all? All right, so y'all don't nobody. Please call Miss Joni mean, cause she is not mean at all. Ever since like, she been being well, nice yeah, to me. Yeah, I get mean a lot. What? Yeah, but my mean is not like a mean. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it is two sides of me. You know, I know how to be professional. I know how to be business. I know how to be. Uh, relax. I'm chill, a chill person. So, but I can't be mean though. I can't be mean. But it's not one of them. It's a different kind of mean. You could be mean and physically mean to people, or you could be mean in how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a way. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Joni, char have character and be mean. You know. Absolutely. Well, Miss Joni, <clears throat> please only let me see your professional side. 
I'm cool just like right? this. That's I'm what cool. You see. I'm cool <laughs> right? just like this. See. Yes, right, ma'am. Right. <laughs> um, my next question for you is, what's your favorite color? Oh my goodness, this 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 is embarrassing. My favorite color is pink, but I, I, pink, you know. But I do like browns. But pink is my favorite color. Don't be embarrassed. I like pink too. For oh, sure. you like pink? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. I like pink for sure. All right. Um, my next question for you is, what's your <laughs> favorite number? Thirteen. Has thirteen always been your favorite number? Yes. Has pink always been your favorite color? Yes. That's cool. Do you have a lot of pink scattered throughout your room? No. That's why I see pink. It was a, a little girl color. My my when I was in my youth. So pink, that's that color is always. You see it on my page. Pink could be here and there. You know what I'm saying? But browns and neutral is what it is today in my humble. Remember I told you about the humble side that I am today? Browns and neutral, like this shirt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing ever been wrong with brown. That's a great color. Okay, right. Beautiful <laughs> color, right? Okay. <laughs> My next question for you, Miss Joni, is what are your five favorite foods? Crabs, um, chicken, oxtail, fish, and uh, fruits. Um, what are your three favorite fruits? Strawberries. I like pineapple, cantaloupe. Hey, uh, avocado, mango. That's what's up. You got a great lineup right there. Oh, yeah. I'm from Miami. For real. So, yeah, we got those mango trees and stuff like that. <laughs> mm, that's what's up. I ain't never seen no mango tree. We got pear trees here, though, but not no really? mangoes. I ain't never seen no mango tree. You never tree. seen a mango tree? Mm, not on TV, I have. Not in person, oh, okay, though. Okay, okay. Not in person. But that's cool. That's cool. Um, my next question for you is, okay, um, I, uh, back to your talk show. Do you only interview artists or do you only interview people in Atlanta, Georgia, or I mean in North Carolina, or do you interview people all over? People all over. That's cool. That's great. Mm -hmm. I think because that's I great. Zoom. So people all over because, uh, the station that I'm with, uh, WDRB is, um, in 50 states. So, what? That's where I'm all over. Mm hmm. Dang. 50 states. So, you, you, I can connect with you where you are. You just like, you know, this. So, yeah. That's and what's 50 up. States. Mm -hmm. They be listening to y'all in Iowa, Wisconsin. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> iHeartRadio. Right on iHeartRadio. Oh, you're on iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. Uh, tune in. iHeartRadio, tune in. And, um, on her radio tune, and I can't remember the, the next one, but yeah. My show airs 6 p.m. Fridays. Dang. 6 yeah. p.m. Fridays on I Heart. What? I Heart Radio. That's where you can find my show at. Oh, no. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I might not want to get interviewed no more. <laughs> I can't. Why? I can't, that's Big T. I can't be on Big Radio. Mm -mm. No, no. What you, what you talking about? I'm, I'm not on Big. I'm on Big Radio iHeart Radio, that's big radio. That's no, I'm, I'm being funny, but yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. Yes, you can. What you mean? Yeah, yeah. You doing it. You can't back out. <laughs> I don't no, know about that can't one. Back out. <laughs> what you say? What you talk about? I'm the same butterflies you got right now in your stomach, I'ma have that times ten. For sure. Well, it's gonna be okay though. You're gonna flow through like you getting me through it, right? <laughs> You, you, don't, you don't understand. I, I hope I'm not looking all nervous and stuff. Now you good, Miss Joni. I'm I'm a helper, not a helpee. I don't, I know I can help people. I just uh uh. I don't, that's not for me. You go, yeah. You I wish you would have told me that. Yeah, I'm already. That's when you listen to at me. At. Yeah, and if you can't catch me there, you can see see me on my YouTube. Man, if you miss it. That's what's up. Sometimes I miss my own show. I, I work. I be doing hair. You know what I'm saying? So I be like, oh damn. 
Yeah. Man, so y'all turn, tune in, man. It's 6 o'clock, our heart radio. You said Friday, Saturday? Friday, Every Friday. Yes, Eastern ma'am. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, 6 o'clock. Um, <laughs> my next question for you is, do you like to cook? Yes, I like to cook. I got to cook. I got family. So, yeah, I, to answer your question, I like to cook. I like to cook. Yes, ma'am. Miss Joni, if I ever came over, what are five foods that I need to try by you? Uh, my oxtails, my fried chicken, um, collard greens, my mac and cheese, and uh, corned beef and uh, cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef. Corn. And cabbage. It was that like hat, like corn hat, like hat. Not hash brown, but the corned no, beef. Yeah, they corn. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Yeah, corned beef. And that costs like six dollars a can. Mm. That's worth it though. <laughs> yeah, corned beef with some rice. Yeah, that's what I make for you. That's my style right there. That's my that's up my alley. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, my next question for you is: If you could visit five countries, what would they be? Five countries: Africa. Um, five countries. Okay. Paris. I don't know. Is that a, is that a country? That count. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's a place. Um, mm-hmm. Paris, Africa. I want to go to Canada, but I don't know. I don't think that's a country. But that's, that's okay. That, that's cool too. To okay. That's Canada. fine. That's fine. Um, I really don't want to really go outside the country to nobody else's country. Really, I, I'd rather stay in mine. If I go, I want to go to the Bahamas. Let me go on back home. Okay? I'm so. That's why I can't really name no countries. I'm trying to deal with my country I'm in right now. So, yeah. That's where I'm at today. Straight up. I understand. You got your hands full with this country. I tell you yeah, what. I'm telling you, right? For real. But if I was to go to another place, it would be Canada. That's cool. I'll move right to Canada. Can you drive to Canada? Absolutely. Show can. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Show can. Give me an RV. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, my next question for you is: Would you rather go into space or deep sea diving? Let me go down below. I'll go to do- do- deep sea. I'll go deep sea. Yes, ma'am. Um, what would you like to see underwater? A whole like a, the world. I want to see what it looked like down there. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see the mermaids because I know they're down there. You know, in a big, big whale. You know what I'm saying? Like a big, but he got to be behind. He can't come out. <laughs> he can't come out. But I like to see that under. Yeah. If I go down way, way, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um, oh gosh. My next question for you is, what are your five favorite animals? Mm, I don't really have a favorite. Oh, well, okay. Let's see. The fair elephant. I like the elephant. I like the lion. And then the lioness. Um, I like dogs. I have a chihuahua, so I'll put, put the dogs in there. Um, birds. Another animal, fish. That's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Do you have a favorite type of birds or just any birds? Parrot. The colorful ones. Like Isn't that a parrot that can talk yeah. back? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Parrot. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, my next question for you is what are your five favorite drinks? You tell you talking about drink drink? Uh, you can say both if you want. Okay. Um, I like brown, um, crown roll, uh, some Hennessy, or maybe um, oh, I like to write Russian <laughs> wine. Um, and then my whites, I like um, maybe some uh, Sea Rock or Amsterdam, something like that. I'm a light. I'm a light light. Me too. Me too. First thing you said was crown. <laughs> we be friends. You ever had the um the apple, the crown apple? 
Yes, it's good. Oh yes. yeah, that's me. That's mm-hmm. me. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> that's my style. But okay. I, don't, I don't. I can't be drinking brown that much. It, you mm, can't be drinking. Yeah, me, brown, me either. Yeah, I make don't like you, what it do to me. Right, me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta mm. drink in moderation because it it don't do me good. I I I do. You know, it's not. Mm-mm. All over the place. I try to stick to white or some wine. I like wine. I like that sweet stuff. Oh, what kind of line? What kind of wine do you like? I'm not the wine person. I just drink it. My hubby, he the, he the, he know how to pick it. That's I just cool. Drink it. And, I, and I pick the liquor, and he'll taste it. He don't drink that like that, you know. But yeah. He sound like me. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whenever you do drink your wine, do you like it sweet or tart or strong? How do you like sweet. it? Sweet. Sweet. That tart is just too tart. Really? You know? Yeah. We so have sweet. we have some places down here in the country like some some older people. It's 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 be during di- different seasons though, but they make homemade wine. Like and it be all wow. flavors like cherry banana or strawberry. Oh, yeah black cherry and it right. it tastes just like, like a winery is it a winery mm-mm, mm-mm. no they just make it homemade wow yeah that's country good. like yeah church people <laughs> right. wow i bet that's good i bet it tastes so good like it tastes like kool-aid but wow. all you need is this stuff. much it's up all need a little bit. <laughs> that's, all that's you that need. hunch punch <laughs> look how you got serious that's yeah, it that's, that hunch punch. that's <laughs> it but man hey they be doing their thing down here but yeah um see, i'm so glad so i'll be trying to tell people when they say like one they don't be knowing i'll be talking about you know exactly what i'm talking about or right, yeah, it's gonna get you yeah. right <clears throat> my next question for you is do you like to go shopping i love to go shopping it makes me feel good Yes. <laughs> it, it took the place of <laughs> something else, but I'm just saying. It makes me feel good. I like to go shopping. If I'm aggravated or something like that, I'll go shopping. I don't care if I'm just going to the grocery store. I just to get out and just go buy something. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is before COVID hit, did you like to go shopping in the stores or online? In the stores. Um, what are some of your favorite stores to go shopping at? Um, I like to go to Ross. I go to, I go anywhere and shop. I can't just name them. Up to the mall, you know, I see it, I like it, I buy it. I'm not, I'm not Chanel and all that kind of stuff. I could look good with less. I could spend less and still look good. So okay. I don't have a favorite shop, you know. My favorite stores is Dollar Tree and Ross. <laughs> right. Those are my two favorites. You feel me? Okay. For real. Right. You know? That's all yeah, I need. The commodity. You just want to be able to buy something, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to come out still with a little bit in my pocket. Right. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trying to save and budget. Budget shop. Yeah. For real. All right. So, Miss Joni, um, do you have any tattoos? Or do you have any more tattoos? I seen one on your arm. Are you tatted up? Or are you just... Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not tatted up. Not like that. But I have tattoos. Oh, can so, I see that I got, one? I got these. This is my kids. My kids. See the number three. What? My son played football. And then when I came to watch his game, his number wasn't even number three. I went and tatted his number because I was so happy and proud of him. And I'm looking for him on the field, and there ain't no number three. That's another child. <laughs> so yeah. So then my sister Tasha, Natasha, she died from cancer. Rest in peace, Tasha. And then my son Nuki, that's Nike DJ. He got his own YouTube channel. And then JD Ann, no, Nando, that's Fernando. My son named Fernando. And then JD Ann, that's the last baby. And this is for KK Diamond because I couldn't let them finish. Mm. Uh, it, it, it hurt so bad, so they supposed to have did a champagne glass, which is not a champagne glass. You think mm. that's a champagne glass? That's a margarita cup. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But they know what I mean. This, so this this represents KK Diamond, Tonka Truck, Tonka Truck, KK Diamond. Yep. And then I got one right here. 
That's cool. Walk up in the club, everybody next to me. That's my song. (laughs) Miss KK. Big booty Lisa. Big booty Lisa. <laughs> Little booty Tina. Can't forget Can't Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah. They be turning up. That's my dog. Right. They be turning up. For real. She's been doing it for a long time. I'm proud of her. Yeah. For real. Man. Oh, and I got this one too. This, this one. <laughs> Scissors. You don't play. You don't play. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people who who I know a lot of cosmetologists who have either scissors or like a blow dryer or some type of hair thing on tattooed. That's cool. All right, so those tattoo. Do you plan on getting any more tattoos? Um, yes. I I, I want to try to do something like going like this way or something. You know what I mean? Like maybe do something here. You about to get a whole sleeve. Yeah, I want to, but not not whole. Maybe it could do something pretty like that. Not not all around it, but I wouldn't mind doing that. That's cool. That's cool. I only have one tattoo, and it hurt. I don't think I'm going to ever get it. And it hurt you? Well, yeah. It, it hurt, but I took it. For sure. You're stronger than me. No, ma'am. Yeah. I, it, it really, really hurt. It really hurt, but I went through it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to start and stop. For real. <laughs> I'm just talking right now, though, talking about I want a whole sleeve. That, that's why I've been saying that five years now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question for you is, what are your plans for the next five years, and what are your plans for the next ten years? The next five years, my plan is to uh, hopefully still be doing uh, the radio, um, and to retire financially free, hopefully I can get there. Um, and then in my, you say 10 years, Yes, ma'am. Um, traveling, traveling again in my RV, traveling around the different States, you know, make it to Canada or something like that. And just smoke weed every day. <laughs> For real. <clears throat> Um, my next question for you is, what would you like to tell the future generation of women? What I would like to tell the future generation of women is to please hold your crowns high as a queen and uh, carry that status uh, to the highest ability of a woman. Um, choose, make better decisions as far as men are in relations so that um, you don't put yourselves in compromising positions. Um, Be confident, be uh, smile, be happy, um, do everything that your heart desires. Nobody is better than you. Yes, ma'am. That's a great answer. Um, <clears throat> my next question for you is, what would you like to tell your future self 20 years from now? My future self 20 years from now, I would tell myself that I did a, a damn good job Uh in this world that I did a, a great job raising my children that I'm, I, I'm phenomenal, phenomenal. I did good. I would tell my future self just that. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is what would you like to tell your children 20 years from now? 20 years from now, I'll probably be telling them how much I love them to always keep going in life. Um, I would tell them uh, to strive um, to, to let your legacy, to strive to have a legacy and leave your kids something. Because I'm thinking 20 years from now, yeah, I should be, I should, will be in a place where I'm trying to leave them with memories of me. You know what I mean? And making sure that I can 
go in peace that they're fine in the world, in the messed up world that we in 20 years from now. If we don't get hit by a boulder. For real, for real. <clears throat> My next question for you is, what would you like to tell your husband 20 years from now? How much I love him, how much I love him and how much of a king that he has been thus far and well, 20 years from now then, yeah, how much he meant to me and how much I appreciate him and how sexy he is. I'll probably be still saying he's sexy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> My next question for you is... <clears throat> Are there any shout outs that you would like to make to your friends or to your family? Um, I would like to shout out um, KK Diamond, of course. Um, Tonka Truck, her, she came out with her new single, Tonka Truck. I would like to give a shout out to Nike DJ. Um, he has his own uh, YouTube channel. I would like to give a shout out to Fernando, JDN, all my grandkids, family, um, and that's about it. And my mom and everybody else that love me and <laughs> that I love. And all my guests and my followers. I want to give a shout out to you guys for even supporting me and um, putting up with me and my quirkiness and my weirdness and my weird way. And that's about it. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You caught me off guard with that question. That one kind of threw me. That was perfect. That was that's the that was perfect. That was perfect. Everything you said was perfect so far. This is a great interview. Um, my next question for you is, what would you like people to know about you before they go <clears throat> before they go to your Instagram page or your YouTube channel? Okay, on my Instagram page, um, I would like for you to know that I am. A down-to-earth person, um, sincere. I love people, um, and I would like for you to know that I am bringing you great content and information, and um, actually myself, my real, authentic self. This is this is what it is, and what you're gonna get. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is: How do you feel women are represented in the world? I feel honestly that women are not represented in the world, not like how they should be. I feel like women are um, not held to the highest high that they can be uh, because of other people's insecurities and other reasons why. Um, but I do also on that note feel that women um, are represented represented today because of Camilla being that she is a black woman, black skin, let's say that, does and um so I think we're being represented there for her to even be in that plateau uh, right now that all women of color can um hold their heads high and, and do anything that we desire. And men, <laughs> to you men uh, I would um, ask that you please um, support your your sisters and support women all, all around. Do a little bit better. I agree. I agree. Um, what do you think needs to be changed for women to be treated equally? Um, stop. Stop judging everything that they do in the world like women are looked upon with the, like a magnifying glass you know like everything they do is a problem like if i think if they start there by not um judging and, and putting women down i think that's a that's a beginning um also degrading women um even though it's kind of hard because women are everywhere in in a different light in different way but yeah i'll say degrading women would be a good start. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. I agree. I agree. Um, my next question for you is, do you believe police brutality is real or do you think it's made up? 
It's real to the motherfucking real. That's how real it is. I don't, it's, it can't be made up. It's not made up at all. This is real what's going on. So, yes, yeah, ma'am. Police brutality is definitely out here. So y'all be safe and be vigilant. Absolutely. My next question for you is, can you send <clears throat> a positive message to the negative people of this world who believe police brutality is okay? My message to the people who downplay police brutality against minorities and black people is that open your eyes, clean your ears, and learn something and stop uh, telling yourself that what you believe in, which is the hate and the killings of black folk that is not happening, let it go. Accept accept what it is that you're doing and your beliefs and change because you're, you're, I would like to tell you that your kids are the ones that's going to have to grow up and be in this world with us. So um, check yourselves and uh, do a little bit better on how you treat people. We are all equal. We are all equal and the same. We all believe the same. So, okay, to that note. <clears throat> That was a great answer. My next question for you, Ms. Joni, is can you send a positive message to our brothers and to our sisters on coming together? People, um, put the guns down. Stop killing up each other. Um, let's unite and come together. Let's love again. Let's let's watch after um, our village. That's how that's how I grew with the village. You know what I'm saying? Everybody watch everybody. You know, uh, watch after our kids. You know what I'm saying? Like like if you see something wrong, do something about it. Um, let's 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 do better. Let's do better. Has support. Let's support each other instead of hating on one another. You know, let's let's come together because if we don't fast. Uh, I guess I'll be leaving those ones who not coming along with me because I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, go somewhere. So we got to come together and stop the BS. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. My next question. I have about three more questions for you. My next okay. question for you is what is your how do you feel black women are represented in the world? As I said before, um, I feel like black women are represented because we represent ourselves. I'll say that. I don't feel like uh, we're represented well by our peers unless it's um, that one person that's representing or I don't, I don't <clears throat> actually feel like we're represented in the world, really. I think we're more downplayed than represented, as we should. We're actually in the back. You know, they want to keep us in the back. You know what I mean? But you, we can't. We're we're in the front. We're in the front, but they would love for us to be in the back. So that's why we're not representative, because black is in the back. You know what I'm saying? And if you the lighter you are, you you more <clears> close to the front. So um, if that makes sense, um, we represent ourselves well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, can you send a positive message to our sisters around the world? Um, to my sisters, um, I just want to encourage you guys to live your lives um, to the fullest. Um, think smart. Be smart. Um, and take care of your children. Um, and don't let no man tell you that you're not worthy of yourselves. And, and, and if you see, and if you see a sign, a sign that's telling you that something is not right, please follow your gut. Your gut always is right. Your gut tells you, hmm, something not right, go with that gut. Because trust me, you'll be saving yourself and, you know, 
from from harm's way or or hurt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next, my last question for you is, Miss <clears throat> Joni, what would you do if you were the president? Oh wow! If I was the president, everybody would have health care, free health care. Everybody would have free health care, and everybody would be living somewhere. Nobody would be on the streets. Unless they really, you got some people who want to be on the streets, but the majority of those, they, they could be in places, so many abandoned buildings. If I was the president, no homeless people, no hunger, health care, then I wipe out everybody debt. You know what I'm saying? And then have like, oh boy, you see all, I, I, yeah, you own it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, that's what would happen. Because um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like I um, used to work for Bojangles. This was one of my first jobs back in Miami. And um, I, I felt like um, if somebody didn't have 50 cent or enough of their meal, I'm gonna just go ahead and slide the meal, you know what I'm saying? Slide them the meal or slide them the drink. You know what I'm saying? Give them extra napkins, whatever they wanted. So that's how I was. So they fired me because I gave away too much stuff. I gave away too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? Joni, you can't be giving away food. But I'm like, he, he didn't have, you know what I'm saying? I used to go in my pocket if somebody was short so they could have a meal. You know what I'm saying? So everybody finna eat if I'm president. <clears throat> you got my vote, dog. It's Joni for president, <laughs> 2025. Twenty twenty five. Um Miss Joni, I would like to tell you <clears throat> thank you so much for coming on my show. Is there anything that I didn't ask you or anything that we didn't talk about that you would like to say? Um no. No to Tony. You actually cover everything and more. You you actually um I've been shaking on the inside the whole time. Like I'm so nervous. Like you really, you really open, open up uh, a hidden door in there somewhere. You know, of nerves. You know, so no, you asked there everything. Trust me. Like over a hundred questions, I think. I don't know. I feel like a thousand questions you asked me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Thank you again, Miss Joni, for coming on my show. You are welcome back anytime. Just let me know. I appreciate that. I appreciate you doing this, and thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat>